The ACT's longest running murder case may have reached the end of the line. David Harold Eastman, who was jailed for killing Assistant AFP Commissioner Colin Winchester, has been told he's not entitled to a judicial inquiry. It may be Eastman's final avenue for challenging his conviction. Elizabeth Byrne reports. It was an event that shocked Canberra. The highest ranking police officer in the ACT was shot in his car outside his home in Deakin in January 1989. Just who was responsible has been a touchy subject ever since, even after David Harold Eastman was arrested and convicted for the murder. It's a situation he's tried to undo ever since, taking his case as far as the High Court. Eastman was convicted of the murder and sentenced to life in jail in 1995. After failed appeals to the Federal Court and the High Court, Eastman then sought judicial review, challenging his own fitness to plead. The first ruled he was fit, which prompted a fresh application. That too failed, and Eastman lodged another bid. But that's been dismissed by Justice Shane Marshall, who described Eastman's application as misconceived and ruled that under current laws, only one inquiry into a particular conviction is permitted. In his judgment, Justice Marshall said, if any further factual issues arise which cast serious doubt upon the safety of a conviction, those matters are more appropriately raised with the executive for it to take appropriate action. Eastman's court battles have not been confined to his conviction. Last year, he finally lost his battle with ACT housing and was evicted from his Reed flat. Eastman has been hard to miss in the courts over the years, losing his temper and having to be removed from courtrooms, often parting ways with his lawyers and representing himself, including during this recent application, and conducting testy exchanges with the bench. But it appears without dramatic new information pointing to his innocence, he may have seen his last day in court. Although if the past is a guide, no one should take that for granted. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.